Price's law refers to an empirical rule which states that the majority of scientific publications in any field of study would likely come from a comparatively small number of authors. To be precise, 50% of the work is done by the square root of the total number of people who participate in the work. This law was given by English scientist Derek John Price and is applicable almost everywhere, ranging from sales departments in corporate firms, fiction authors, and football teams. You may have observed this phenomena throughout your experiences in life. You're working on a team and there are the superstars who do most of the work or appear to produce most of the outcomes and then there is everyone else. For example, in a sales department, 5 out of the 25 people get almost 50% of the sales. This is a live example of Price's law. In every workplace, the relationship between value and people is asymmetric. Only a handful of people are responsible for the majority of the value creation. Jordan Peterson, a clinical psychologist, says, As your company grows, incompetence grows exponentially and competence grows linearly. Example A. In a company of 10, 3 are doing half the work or producing half of the results. Example B. In a company of 100,000, 100 are doing half the work or producing half of the results. It applies to every single realm where there is a difference in creative production. What this means is, as a leader, manager, or business owner, it is important to understand this law. It is important that you take care of all your employees, but it is equally important to ensure that you don't take for granted your top producers and top performers. If 3 out of a 10-person company of your top performers leave and they're contributing 50% of the results, you will feel the pain of that loss undoubtedly. So don't take for granted your top producers as an employer. As an employee, this law means that you should look at your current profession. Are you in a position to create substantial value? If the answer is no, move on to a different place where you can. Life is not symmetric nor linear. Only a few people in every domain are responsible for half of the results. Hence, find the domain you can be the important minority you'll also get the majority of the benefits. Good luck! That was all for today's video. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel Explified to watch more such videos.